Hello everyone, I'm here again with my new video lesson. This time it's about chemistry and I will be discussing the topic about partial pressure. I am your teacher, Mr. Mark Anthony B. Laroya. First, let's talk about partial pressure. As you can see in our illustration, we have three different gases, gas A, gas B, and gas C. Let's say they are in a container, each gas is in a container, wherein gas A is exerting a pressure, we call it pressure A, and then same goes for gases B and C. The pressure of a gas is caused by collisions of the molecules with the walls of the container. When we say partial pressure, suppose a gas mixture is made up of two or more different gas components, let's say those are gases A, B, and C. Each component contributes a partial pressure to the mixture. Those are PA, PB, and PC. So that means the partial pressure of a gas component of a mixture may be defined as the pressure which that gas exerts when it is present alone in a container with the same temperature and volume as the gas mixture. So the pressure that gas each gas exerts individually is the same as its partial pressure when they are all combined. Let us now talk about the Dalton's law of partial pressure. The total pressure of the mixture, or that is Pt, is the sum of the partial pressures of all components. So we have now the formula of our total pressure that would be the partial pressure of A plus the partial pressure of B and the partial pressure of C or plus Pn if there are some other gases present in the uh, mixture of gas. So let us now use the concept of Dalton's law of partial pressure in a sample problem. A mixture of 6 grams of oxygen and 9 grams of methane, CH4, is placed in a 15 liter vessel at 0 degrees Celsius. What is the partial pressure of each gas and what is the total pressure inside the vessel? So let us first identify the given. So the mass of oxygen O2 is 6 grams. We know that the atomic weight of oxygen wherein as a diatomic, its atomic weight will be equal to 32 grams per gram mole. So, getting the number of moles of oxygen or O2, that would be 0 0.188 gram moles of O2. And for the mass of methane, we have 9 grams. The molecular weight of methane would be 16 grams per gram mole. 4 from 4 hydrogens and 12 from 1 atom of carbon. And so the molecular weight is 16. Now, dividing the mass of methane 9 grams into its molecular weight, we get the number of moles of methane that is equal to 0 0.563 gram moles. So for the solution in this problem, we let P1 be the partial pressure of O2 and P2 be the partial pressure of methane or CH4. We know that Based from ideal gas equation, the product of pressure and volume is equal to the number of moles times the ideal gas constant R times the temperature in absolute temperature. So we use this for both O2 and CH4 to get their partial pressure. So for the partial pressure of oxygen or P1, that would be P1V equals N1RT and for methane that is P2V equals N2RT. So we know that the volume, the temperature are constant. That's why they are of the same V and T. And of course, our R is constant. 
And so, let us first solve the partial pressure of O2, P1. So that would be N1 times the ideal gas constant R times the temperature over volume. So substituting the values that we got uh, from the previous slide, the value of N1, you have 0 0.188 moles times the ideal gas constant, which is 0 0.08205 liter atmosphere per mole Kelvin. And the absolute temperature of 0 degrees Celsius is equal to 273.15 Kelvin. Divided by the volume of the vessel, which is 15 liters, we get now the partial pressure of our P1 or the partial pressure of O2 that is equal to 0 0.2. 281 atmosphere. And now for our second gas, the methane gas, our P2, that is the same as the formula for O2, N2 times R times T over V. So we already solved the value of the number of moles of methane earlier. So we have now 0 0.563 gram moles of methane times the ideal gas constant 0 0.08205 liter atmosphere per mole Kelvin multiplied by the absolute temperature 273.15 Kelvin divided by the volume 15 liters. We get now the partial pressure of our methane which is equal now to 0 0.841 atmosphere. So we, we already determined now the partial pressure of O2 and CH4. To get the total pressure inside the vessel, all we have to do is to simply add the two partial pressures, the partial pressure of O2 which is 0 0.281 atmosphere plus the partial pressure of methane which is 0 0.841 atmosphere and then we get the, uh, the total pressure equal to 1.1 atmosphere. So that is how we use the Dalton's law of partial pressure in getting the value of our total pressure and of course first and foremost how to get the partial pressure of each gas that comprise uh, that comprise uh, that the partial pressure of the gases that comprise the gas mixture. In partial pressure, in Dalton's law of partial pressure particularly, it is, uh, the number of moles can also be used or the mole fraction can also be used in solving the partial pressure. The ratio of the partial pressure of each gas component to the total pressure of the mixture is equal to the ratio of the number of moles of the gas component or that means each uh, gas present in the mixture to the total number of moles of the gas mixture. That means PA or the partial pressure of gas A or gas 1 over the total pressure of the mixture is equal to the number of moles of gas A over the total number of moles of the mixture. Same goes for partial pressure of B over PT equals number of moles of B over total number of moles of the mixture. And lastly, the partial pressure of C over total pressure of the mixture is equal to the ratio of number of moles of gas C over the number of, total number of moles of the mixture. Now, simplifying mole fraction that is denoted by X, we can say now that the mole fraction of gas A, that is XA, is equal to the number of moles of A over the total number of moles in the mixture. And same goes for XB, the mole fraction of gas B is equal to NB over NT, and the mole fraction of gas C is equal to the number of moles of gas C over the total number of moles of the gas mixture. And using this mole fractions, Xa, Xb, and Xc, 
we substitute this to our previous equation, we will derive or we will arrive at the partial pressure now of gas A is the product of its mole fraction times the total pressure of the gas mixture. And for the partial pressure of gas B is equal to the mole fraction of gas B times the total pressure of the mixture. And the partial pressure of gas C is equal to the product of mole fraction of gas C and total pressure of the gas. So let us now apply the concept of Dalton's law of partial pressure involving mole fraction. Almost the same example, we have a mixture of 6 grams of O2 and 9 grams of methane is placed in a vessel at a total pressure of 1.12 atmosphere. What is the partial pressure of each gas? So this time, the volume is not involved, only the total pressure and the mass of each gas present in the mixture. So, given the total pressure equal to 1.12 atmosphere, let's first get the number of moles of each component. For O2, again, the number of moles is 0 0.188 gram moles. And for the methane CH4, we have again 0 0.563 gram moles. So we simply divide the mass of the component over its atomic weight or molecular weight. And then we get their number of moles. And then if we add the two number of moles, the number of moles of O2 and the number of moles of methane, we get now the total number of moles of our mixture. And that is now equal to 0 0.751 gram moles. Just like in our previous example, we let P1 first be the partial pressure of oxygen and P2 as the partial pressure of methane, CH4. Since we said earlier that the partial pressure is simply the product of its mole fraction and the total pressure. So therefore, for our P1 or the partial pressure of O2, that is equal to the mole fraction of oxygen or O2 times the total pressure. And same for our methane, the partial pressure of methane P2 is equal to its mole fraction X2 times the total pressure. So we must first get the mole fraction of each component the mole fraction of O2, and the mole fraction of CH4. We already, had, uh, we already have our number of moles for each component, and we also got already the total number of moles. So we have now the mole fraction of O2 will be its number of moles 0 0.188 over the total number of moles of the gas 0 0.751. And for the methane, we have... 0 0.563 over 0 0.751 and so we get the mole fraction of each gas for mole fraction of O2 we have 0 0.2250 and for the methane we have the mole fraction equal to 0 0.750 so we substitute this mole fraction to our formula and multiply multiply them into the with the total pressure of the gas to get the partial pressure of each component. So for P1, that is 0 0.250 times the total pressure of 1.12, the answer or the P1 now, the partial pressure of O2 will be equal to 0 0.28 atmosphere. And for methane, we will have 0 0.75 times 1.12, we will have 0 0.84 atmosphere. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you learned something new about chemistry, specifically about partial pressure. See you again next time in our next video lesson. Thank you very much and God bless.